Well, hi there, and welcome back to the North Coast of the DR. You're here with old Barry in DR. Listen, as I said I would in the previous video, we're going to, by all means, not leave the virus um, question, but we are going to uh, definitely move on a little bit into some other things. I want to show you also how deep this goes. I got this on the public side of a... Um, blog that I also, uh, I pay for the private side of it and the use of the computer systems. Um, but in any event, I want to go with this. I'm on the deck. If you hear any wind or anything, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll just see how this comes out. But in any event, uh, a couple of days ago, I just didn't have time to get to it. I received a, a blog post out of um, old Martin Armstrong and Armstrong Economics. Spain is in partnership with Bill Gates. Now, um, I want to really clearly lay this down, and we're going to look at the law too, though, but this comes in from one of his subscribers, a reader from uh, uh, a former communist state, okay? The new law in Spain for the new normality has been approved, okay? This is no longer talk. This has been approved. Spain is in full partnership with Bill Gates. They've hammered out some of the final details of the rules. Spain will no longer be a destination for tourists. That is about all Spain ever had to really offer for a GDP. They are clearly, there you go, they are clearly cutting off 12% GDP just to start. So masks are obligatory. Hmm, in all closed areas now. Okay, doesn't look like they're putting a time limit until there's a vaccine either. Work, office, schools, transport, shops, etc. Even at home, when you receive friends or family who are not living with you in the same household, you have to wear masks in your own home. <laughs> okay, uh, in cars, when there's more than one person inside and also outside the streets and public parks, etc., when one cannot maintain at all times a distance of 1.5 meters from other people. So, those living in rural areas or small villages can, and I suppose, go out without a mask. He's not sure about that. Tough luck in the crowded cities. The fine is 100 euros, so about 115 U.S., uh, for not wearing a mask. See what? When, when governments are bankrupt, now take a look at who this is, okay? You have Greece, Italy, and Spain that are just bankrupt beyond bankrupt. Did we not tell you they start making draconian laws? Now, when are people going to have enough with this? That's a subjective question. I don't know. But now anybody that's involved with any aspect, hotels, shops, services, anything that has to do with the tourism industry, and again, much the same as where I live, it's a big industry. Will they do something like that here? I don't think so. I personally think the people would just start killing representatives. But... In a way, that might be might be a good thing, as crazy as that sounds in today's world. But um, like I say, if people are not going to defend their freedoms, I said freedom was never free. Uh, and now, best of these rules are in vigor until there is a vaccine in bold print. So masks and social distancing forever in Spain. I'm going to... Uh, just carry on just a bit more with this, though. But uh, from July 1st, tourists will be allowed to come to some areas of Spain. But, of course, they will also have to wear masks and be socially distanced at all times. And they will have to pass health checks at airports upon landing, which, as a minimum, will include temperature measuring and filling out a health questionnaire. I guess those who happen to have slightly higher temperatures will be forcibly quarantined or sent back. Good luck with getting any tourists. What sort of moron would pay to go on such a holiday in hell? And 
what sort of moron is going to be willing to put up with this? What is going? We, we, we said, now here it is. Okay, remember. So this is real. This has already happened. It's not talk. This is how fast things are changing, folks. You won't be able to walk to a 7-Eleven in five minutes without some kind of program tracking you. My goodness. Get out of that crap. Anyway, um, I like his last line here, though. It's all it's a total fraud and BS. At the very least now, it should be very obvious to everyone that all of this is total fraud and BS. But the vast majority of people are so dumb these days, they just accept and parrot everything the media and government tells them to. There's no hope left. Okay, I translated it on Google Translate to English. Leanne's going to link it. There's the law. There's from the uh, newspaper, uh, I believe it was first released in uh, over in uh, Spain. And um, the new normal. Nueva normalidad. New normal. Okay. Folks, I don't know. We're living, and the people relocated to these kind of countries, I'm not just saying here, yeah, all right, occasionally we need a mask, whatever. That's about the difference, okay? Very, very, very few people are freaking or nervous or pushing or shoving or agitated about it. Um, I think you can probably even see it. And, you know, I'm going to start going out a little bit more. I've been going out every day, but I'm going to start going out a little bit more, filming the streets, getting back to a little bit more of some of the other video we do as well. But I promised you I'd keep new and different information coming to you. Spain making it mandatory now. Needing masks. And about six feet separation for all you guys who aren't into the meter system. Okay, they've just about put a gun to their tourism industry. It's finished. It's over. Uh, you could expect Greece, Italy to follow suit because they're also bankrupt. Whatever it is they're listening to, nobody knows. I have no idea, nor does anybody else on the Internet. So anything out there until it's bona fide. But the law has been passed. That's all that's important to the mentors. Okay, so there's always going to be pockets that are going to be Better places to weather a storm. Remember, I asked you to ask yourself the question, okay? The correct question. Ask the correct questions, and it's not, will I be affected? It's to what degree will I be affected? Also, five, six years ago, we started bringing into the picture exactly what's unfolding now. We said, all y'all in the Western nation, meaning America, you're going to find it different because you're going to find a lot of the fighting now is going to be on your turf. See, you're used to fighting in other countries and butting in where you don't belong. When all the fighting and all the revolution and all the rioting and all the killing, man against man, among your own citizens against each other, and if not, they'll separate you and the cops will bash heads on both sides. And if not, the military will take over. But now the fighting's on your turf. We told you that's what was going to be really different about this, okay? And that's why all the cards and letters have been coming in about, oh, my God, we laughed at you, and now we're eating dinner, and we're going, damn, that crazy son of a bitch, what he said if 95% of it didn't come true, and it's the wildest crap we ever heard. Well, you ain't heard nothing yet. What will it take to put a stop to it? All you all watching me, you know what it takes. It takes banding together. It takes putting your stupid differences aside, whether it be sexual preference, color, or religion, and understand we're all battling a common enemy. Get it through your head, because they own every bit of technology and every natural resource on our planet. What more are we going to give away? We have very little freedoms left. What is left before they convert people into drones that are mindless machines? I don't know. Anyway, it's Barry and DR. I told you I'd start bringing a little bit different news to you. Now, I want to, on a closing note, if you guys are with it, I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. If you don't see opportunity here, you just haven't got an open mind. And I'm not saying making 
Profit is the most important thing in the world. I'm trying to change viewpoints and ways of thinking that everything isn't negative, everything isn't positive, no matter what. When you ask the question, to what degree will I be affected? I'm from Western Canada. Would I have rather lived in Alberta or would I have rather lived in anywhere in Europe during World War II? Both were affected. Where would you have rather been? That's the only point the mentors are trying to make. Okay, get it together. You're not helpless. Let's get our strength unified. This, they are not going to win this in the long run because they cannot control this. But let's limit the amount of confrontation and bloodshed and start banding together now to show a force that we're not going to take it. And let's get on with change. It's up to us whether it goes down or up this change, whether it's on the abyss in the foreboding darkness or it starts to remove the layers that are blocking the light from above. That's only, that's our choice. And we're going to live with it one way or another, okay? It's all Barry and DR. I'll keep bringing some more pertinent information about the virus, but also starting to break about ways of looking, okay? Puerto Rico, there's a gold mine waiting to happen for investors. Spain, when there's blood in the water, you can't fall off the floor. Okay, guys, so use this to your advantage, and we'll keep going a little bit, blending this back into it. We'll be blending a little bit more drive time talking because everything's open again here. So I'll be going out a lot more again, but I'll be doing videos uh, from behind the wheel uh, and things like that. And we'll keep these conversations and we'll keep these important subjects in the limelight. Till next time, Barry and DR. Bye. <laughs>